हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द सेकंड वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इनसाइड द पाइथन पांडा वीडियो सीरीज सो लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन अबाउट हाउ वी हैव क्रिएटेड द डेटा फ्रेम पाइथन पांडास डेटा स्ट्रक्चर बट दैट इज विद द हेल्प ऑफ एक्सटर्नल डेटा सोर्स फ्रॉम द गूगल फाइनेंस एपीआई वी हैव एक्सट्रैक्टेड द डेटा और वी हैव फेज द डेटा ऑफ गूगल स्टॉक प्राइस विद between some uh, start date and the uh, age range uh, now suppose uh, sup we want to create a data frame uh, with the help of uh, just our own uh, data which is a uh, hard code available inside the variable so how we can do it we are going to see inside this uh, lecture and we'll show how to display it and uh, the same function which we use in our last lecture we'll uh, put it into plot format those things so can we can visualize it so let's first import uh, pandas okay we have successfully imported the uh, pandas library and we have rename it to pd so we'll reference all uh, functions of pandas with the help of pd variable now uh now uh, suppose we have uh, some uh, data available in a python dictionary data structure so how that data structure we can directly ins use it inside this data frame framework and uh, <coughs> we can create data frame object out of it so let's take uh, one example of our uh, daily routine uh, activity uh, for some period of uh, like monday tuesday wednesday thursday and a friday so for each day there are some of the routine tasks we normally do uh, and uh, for each day how much hours of time we are going to span for each activity uh, we'll try to put it inside this python uh, dictionary data structure and from that data structure we'll create this data frame so we'll get whole data inside this py pandas data frame object uh so uh, let's create some uh, variable daily stats so let's define our index first so d is a uh, suppose mm, monday Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now let's define some of the activities. So, like a sleeping hours of uh, daily activity. This looks like a very hypothetical data because uh, sleeping hours are mostly same for individual purpose on a day-to-day -day basis, with a very minor exception. But uh, just for the creating uh, some data, uh, let's uh, do it. Sleeping. suppose on monday you sleep 10 hours then 7 hours and then 5 hours 7 hours or 9 hours uh let's take another activity like exercise so exercise is uh, suppose in terms of minutes uh, we'll put those uh, data the sleeping we have put in terms of uh, hours actually so suppose 30 minutes you did on a first day then uh, 40 minutes 45 minutes and 70 minutes and suppose 35 minutes so let's take uh, your working hours for daily for your routine work working hours first day you work for 6 hours then so was 4 hours 2 hours 10 hours and 7 hours okay so we have successfully uh, created this uh, daily uh, stats actually this is 
daily stats uh, python dictionary data structures that for each individual uh, day how much hours you are spending in this different activity like sleeping exercise timing or working so let's execute it and let's just print it this variable okay so it has uh, created uh, this variable for us the working is a uh, one key another is day exercise and a uh, sleeping time now uh, let's see how we can put this uh, python dictionary data structure inside this pandas data frame uh, framework so we can use it for the further in evolution with the help of another set of function inside this pandas so panda pd so yesterday we have given uh, some we have used uh, data reader function of that pandas we inside this uh, pandas uh, input output uh, library so in this case we will use this data frame function of pandas and we will supply this uh, daily stats which is nothing but the dictionary object of python we'll put inside this ds so that is a daily stats now what we will do it will take this daily statistics dictionary object inside this data frame function of the pandas and it will create the data frame object for us which is nothing but the daily stats okay so we have successfully imported the data from our dictionary object to the pandas data frame object now let's just print it okay so we got it so we have a days for each day how much hours sleeping exercise and a working hours you are spending but you can notice one thing that the index part is still 0 1 2 3 4 suppose we want to make this a day as an index because for each day how much hours you are spending in a exercise sleeping or working that is your key value so uh, in pandas we have something like a set index so ds dot you can set the index now we want to make this day as index so what it will do it will return another data frame object which is having a day column as a index of our data frame object and remaining are the columns actually so rather than storing into another uh, variable uh, they are providing one more option like in place through so what it will do whatever the return object it will uh, return it will again store inside this ds reference only okay and now let's print this ds okay so we got this a day as our index and exercise sleeping and a working will be our individual column uh, yesterday we have seen that uh, some of the header and teller functions so suppose we want to see just the first two records so same we can do it just monday and tuesday record suppose we want to see the last two record so we can use tail function so that is a thursday and a friday so far so good so it's working uh, fine now let's try to visualize the way we did uh, yesterday so we use the matplotlib library to visualize individual our ex, uh, columns of this data frame object so let's import this matplotlib library import matplotlib dot pyplot as a plt and uh, we need to import some style also for the good looking purpose plot lip import style there are a lot of styles are there i discuss those thing into yesterday's lecture so we'll use this c born poster okay so we can reference it uh, 
this plt now for the our visualization purpose of individual column now let's uh, see we want to uh, visualize just the exercise part of this uh, ds data frame object so we do not need to do anything just uh, we'll supply this exercise as a key value inside this uh, ds and we'll just put plot and then ds dot so actual plt dot so actually okay so we it has visualized for us that monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday for each of the day how much hours you are uh, spending how much minutes actually exercise uh, data we have taken in terms of minutes so the 30 minutes then a 40 45 70 minutes and then might be it is 35 okay so this way we have visualized now suppose we want to visualize the all three uh, activities on uh, our all five days uh, record so we do not need to supply individual column we'll just supply the plot function on a top of this ds data frame object and we will uh, plot it we will uh, show it okay so it has uh, displayed everything almost uh, horizontal axis days and uh, vertical axis in terms of the value for individual column so this is the legend actually blue rung indi uh, color indicates uh, uh, exercise uh, graph this is a sleeping this is a working red one is indicating by working hours so this way we can visualize uh, we have uh, the individual columns of ds uh, framework object now uh, what we have seen in this uh, class that we have taken some hard coded data inside this dictionary data structure we have put it into data frame objects so we can use for the further uh, processing and we have visualized this data so mm, that's it for this lecture friends uh, in the next tutorial uh, we are going to see uh, we have already created this data frame object how we can go for uh, any kind of further processing uh, data wrangling or data monkey kind of uh, stuff on the top of this data frame uh, object i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it